sure is funny how your perception can change with your expectations. Uh, I had a pretty decent session this day. I wasn't anything flashy or anything overly exciting, and I was uh, being pretty cautious. I still had a bit of tightness from the Tuesday workout. Whenever I get back into training after something like a big deload and a peak, uh, I get so detrained from volume and from consistent intensities that uh, it, I have a tendency to get a little sore and experience way more um, post-session uh, side effects, I suppose, when it comes to uh, the way that your body feels and how beat up you are and just little aches and pains. And so I had to be uh, pretty conservative in this session. I was, uh, again, still working with the time cap of 30 minutes on my main lift here. Um, but I was only able to work up to two real top sets. I did uh, 6.15 for a relatively easy set of five, and then I put on 6.35 and decided I was just going to do one more set here. And uh, I did it for six. The reps themselves were easy. Rated it around an eight, but they just weren't as clean. I had my hips higher um, a little bit than I would normally try to put them uh, just because of that that tightness that was my high hamstring low glute kind of insertion area and you know that's just you you take what you can on those days and this is something that is pretty regular for any time I start a new training block after one of those periods of kind of downtime so I wasn't surprised by it and it's funny that a session that looks like this would actually be pretty exciting for me a few months ago and now it's just kind of one of those meh sort of sessions. It's not really anything crazy, and those sets are uh, weights that I've moved quite a bit in the past, but uh, I don't know. I'm actually kind of excited that I considered this in that session. As weird as that is, I was happy to see that those lighter weights are more of the expectation now and less of, uh, you know, it's not a big deal for me to put on 635 anymore and hit it for a set of five plus reps, even if I have some uh, nagging little um, soreness and pain, some delayed onset muscle soreness. And so that's an exciting thing to think about and move forward in the future. And I'm, yeah, feeling, feeling pretty good. Afterwards, I had 22 minutes of ultra-wide bench pressing with my hands outside the rings. Uh, that's definitely a wider grip than I've ever attempted. And I did 275 for three sets of eight, uh, the first two as per my normal... Um, I am really bad at pacing myself. I got the first two sets knocked out really quickly, and it took me a little while to recover for the third set uh, to get that done. Um, if I get better at uh, at that pacing process, I have a feeling I'll get more sets total in down the line, but that's just one of the things that comes with this style of volume regulation. Afterwards, seven minutes of pull-ups. I went 10, 10, 8, 7 this time, I believe. Uh, which is already an improvement um, from Tuesday, which is kind of funny because out of the entire uh, workout on Tuesday, the thing that was the most sore was my biceps from just the small amount of pull-ups that I did and shows how much I've neglected them in the last training block, which is okay when I'm prepping for a meet, but now that I have some time and uh, the ability to focus on some of those um, underutilized muscle groups, I can do that. Afterwards, I had a few minutes of ab wheel rollouts, and overall, uh, the session wasn't anything to be super excited or doing backflips about, but I'm happy with it, and I'm excited to move forward. I am thinking about um, a meet somewhere in July. Stay tuned for details on that, and other than that, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I will talk to you all very soon on Saturday. I think I have a squat party with some friends, so it should be pretty cool. And I will talk to you then. Have a great day.